Hello and welcome STEM engineers. Today we are going to be building paper airplanes and then testing them to make sure that they can fly at least 10 feet and then determining how much cargo those airplanes can carry by adding coins to them. So what you're going to need for today's activity is some scrap paper so that you can build airplanes. You might even want to have access to the internet to go onto YouTube and look up some different models and designs for building airplanes. And then you're going to need some coins. So I've got a bucket of coins. I've got my paper airplane with its cargo already on here and some tape so that you can adhere your coins to your paper airplane. And what you're trying to do is develop an airplane that can fly, not be thrown and not fly. Okay, we're not, we, we do want to build a structurally sound airplane. You want to build an airplane that can fly 10 feet and carry coins. And it's a now, when you're testing your airplane, the first thing you want to do is make sure that your airplane can fly 10 feet. And when I say can fly 10 feet, I don't mean every single time. I mean, can you get it to fly 10 feet in five tries? At least one of those tries, it should be able to fly 10 feet. Now, the design of your plane may affect that, so you may end up having to redesign your plane. Because I designed a glider, and my glider did not fly particularly well, so then I went with more of a jet model. This one seems to be working a little bit better for me. So you may have to experiment with the designs. Now, once you can get it to fly 10 feet, you start adding coins to it. And I would start with just one or two, and start with them in the middle, because you need to be concerned about your center of gravity as you're doing this. Because if I put all my coins on the nose of my plane, the nose is going to be heavier, and it's going to have a tendency to go down. If I put them on the tail of my plane, it's going to have a tendency to go this way and get dragged down as well. So I'm starting with them in the middle, and if I'm successful, and it, by successful I'm defining that as it can move 10 feet flying. Not me crumpling in a ball and throwing it. But if it can fly 10 feet, then I can add more coins to it and test it again. So keep trying. See what the final value is of your airplane. How many coins can it hold and still fly 10 feet?